we are live now. You might have heard the voice voices of T Duck and uh, for Andy Klein here. Andy, our superstar producer, director, camera, editor, <laughs> pretty much everything, right, Andy? It, yeah. yeah, good to see you here today. Thank you for coming to the meetup, and uh, we'll be brief today. Um, and it'll be great to get um, a, a high five from the comments from the chat just to make sure that sound is coming through, or at least the messages say, Carl, there's no sound coming through. Um, and I'm about to launch into my somewhat cooling uh, Prato de Dia here at Palmeira. Uh, if you're in the San Martino de Porto meetup group, you'd have heard or well, have seen the picture Mrs. Duck sent me of the um, menu. However, we're off menu here. This is a recommendation of what looks like a salmon cutlet or poshta de salmon, I think it might be called. Oh, thank you, Ubi. Thanks very much indeed. Um, and I'm going to switch to the camera that is looking at the try something Portuguese subject today. So let's do that now. Let's go. Uh, what are you having for lunch today, Ubi? Let's um, switch around the cameras then. And uh, we are trying something Portuguese, which will be the perca, which, um, yeah, it looks like a white piece of salmon, basically. I'll uh, just swap in the camera around so you can see what I'm talking about. There it is on the plate. Isn't that a pretty picture? Uh, that is, well, the cables of the production. <laughs> Andy, <laughs> not so great, right? Um, <laughs> That was me, not Andy, by the way, who set this up like this. And um, um, yeah, if Andy had done it, you wouldn't be seeing any cables. That is um, the Vigno Branco Congage or Vigno Verde. So I thought that might be a nice accompaniment, which I'm going to have a little sip on now. Very nice. And then set about the um, the perca, the perch. It's, a, it's perch. And I, I did ask Mr. Mr. Duck, D Duck, if it's perch. It's fresh water, isn't it? Oh, good idea. A bit of this, look. That's a great accompaniment, isn't it? Portuguese brand, the cockerel, gallo, they do all sorts of condiments. And in this instance, we've got um, extra strong piri piri. Okay. So that is um, olive oil in, infused. It is extra strong. Is it? Oh. Is it? It's okay. Ah, it's gone on my finger. Oh, my, my, because. Um, my goodness, that is a bit hot. Okay, yeah. let's come around here a little bit. Portuguese uh, idea of spicy. And oh, okay, and Andy. What you? So yeah, like, we, I can't actually hear you on the mic here, but you were okay. saying what? Well, uh, I want to you, check you, this. you get warned from time to time, right? It's going really, really hot, but you find not so much necessarily. That's got a good little bite to it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're going in. I'm just going to have a bit of fish on its own, first of all. So trying something Portuguese today. This is the perch, the pelka. So you can see the, oops, see the texture of the fish. Um, beautifully cooked, for sure. And we've got some squash here, and we've got some pumpkin. The fish is lovely. It's a fairly... Not the strongest of flavors of fish, but not the, the lightest either, is it? I wouldn't be surprised if it was fresh water. Just pure puri puri. We're comparing puri puri notes here. Well, I made some jumbo well, I'm going to eat a bit more of this fish now with the potato this time. So, as you can see, I've got a mixture of hot veg, uh, looks like oven roasted veg, and a mixed salad, a classic uh, Portuguese salad. Nelson's here as well now, so another mouthful. Mm. That fish does have a great flavor. Mm. Mm. So, I don't think I've had perch here before. Peja perca, but there we are, trying something Portuguese and thoroughly approving of that so what i think i'll do next is move the camera so that you can have a look at the um maybe put some music on 